Hello everyone, this is Ibrahim and we are going to see how to add a virtual environment to our Jupyter no Notebooks. So first of all, let's try to, you know what, let's try to fire up uh, Jupyter Notebook and see the uh, if virtual environments exist. Okay, we should have it in the back. And if we try to view it here, we only have Python 3. So, let's create, uh, let's interrupt the service first. Yeah, assuming that we wanna, let's assume that we have a project here. Yeah? So first of all, we need to create a virtual environment for that project. First, let's see what kind of folders do I have in this current folder. Let me create, a test folder okay if we try to view we have it there if we try to navigate to it and here we should create the uh, virtual environment so um, first of all let's make sure which Python this uh, keyword points to okay 3.7 which is the one we're looking for so let's go Python and then and then rename the virtual environment let's call this um, say ml test um, underscore ml maybe yeah, I think it's a, it's a good enough name this might take a bit of time depending on the dependencies it might have to install because it basically creates a fresh installation now the good thing is now if we try to view the folder content then if we try to view the folder content we should be able to see the lib and secret the one we should fire up whatever we need to fire up the virtual environment okay so now we need just need to fire up the virtual environment so test ml and then we need to run scripts and then activate since it's windows activate.bat bat and without the bat and there we have it so test ml so it's activated pushes about that anyways so on with what we are doing so yeah now that we have uh, the virtual environment activated now we need to install something called ipy kernel so this is what we are going to attach or add to the notebooks this is very important it's a crucial step so we need to pip again just make sure which pip this version is so it's pointing to 3.7 which is what the one we need so pip install and then ipy kernel like so uh, this might take a bit of time, but uh, it should be uh, ready in a few seconds, maybe. Okay, now we just need to... So now that we've installed IP kernel, it, inst it basically installed everything and all the dependencies, dependencies it needs. The next step would be just to add this uh, kernel to the uh, uh, to Jupyter. So IPython and then kernel, kernel, and then install, and then uh, the name of the virtual environment that we want to add to uh, the notebook. So let's call this ML notebook. So we've installed the kernel. This is the path where it's installed. So if you want to install this in the current user's path, you just add the dash dash user in the command here. Now, if we fire up Jupyter notebook, should see the new instance fired up and there it is okay so we have test ml and if we try to click on new we have ml notebook the virtual environment that we have created here okay so uh that was it and uh, i hope this was useful see you on another video have a good day